Okay, it's Sunday night, 8.15. I got a bottle of mud duck apart. There's uh, the center cell and what's left of the tail. There's the spar I made for it. 4x4, four four, quarter inch plywood, indestructible. This is the motor. I got the motor out and the original uh, rubber mounted backing plate. I want to show you the size of this because what happened was on the front cell that backing plate went in about an inch and three quarter and I'm showing you what happened to the half inch foam core this thing has got three sections in it you can see the first and the bottom there in the middle and the top well it only got to the first first section but there it is pushed in it collapsed foam collapsed inch and three quarter there's a side view of it so what I'll do to repair it just knock out the old stuff uh, cut some new stuff glue it in there and back in with the backing plate I'm done so that's uh, when you build them like a brick shit house I guess that's half inch foam I got a little wrinkle right there but that that's from, that's from when the foam collapse probably pushed on it a little bit and uh, I'll give you a picture of this side, a little wrinkle down there in the bottom. But that's only because of the, the, the crushed stone. Here's a picture of the back looking in. You can see the three sections and the, and the front section is chewed up. Um, but that's how I, I designed this thing to take some horrendous abuse because it's in the front. It's got to work. And motors in good condition. Uh, when you get a motor full of dirt, don't turn it over. Don't spray stuff on it. Don't put the grease around it. Go get a vacuum cleaner and a little tiny pick. And go in there and pick that motor clean. It takes about a half an hour, but you won't have to take it apart. So just, uh, and when you get it clean enough, you can actually go down the carburetor hole, turn it over a little bit, and then hold your hand over it like that, and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll clean up nice. So that's one thing you want you want to do is if you don't want to take one apart, get your trusty vacuum cleaner out and and uh, and a little tiny real small pin or something like that, and go in there and just take all the dirt out of it, and that vacuum will make it go away. Save you a lot of time, a lot of effort. If you put solvents and stuff in there, sometimes it gets in there and it takes the oil off the engine and sticks in there, and you have a hard time with it and they got to go somewhere where you vacuum it at least you got a vortex pulling it in that's it that's what the duck front of the duck looks like cause of failure is the uh, rear elevator quit working for some reason I think a connection is hard to tell right now but uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do I guess I'm gonna hardwire the thing or glue them, glue them completely shut so they don't come apart so I might do that court is last, last resort Wire is cheap. Just put new stuff on and get it over with. My uh, manual kill switch worked great. The wings worked great. The one foot extensions on this uh, 31, um, 31 pound airplane, fantastic. Worked absolutely spectacular. That's it. There's the spar. My, do, my new design, I'm just going to attach everything to this spar and go into the tail end of the plane. I'm going to cut that top section off right there and cut it down, get that door cut all the way down right down to here so I'm gonna knock that whole back cell out of there and and uh, and the end of this uh, uh, 4 by 4 spar sticks out about a foot and I'm gonna build it off that so it'll be perfectly straight and I'll probably uh, make a tube that goes on the outside of that out of the hatch, half inch foam board and it'll be a little different design I think I'm gonna make it look like a Cessna uh, air tractor or something like that ciao